In this video, we'll discuss how you can use Alpha Anywhere to create REST APIs. So typically, uh, when you create a REST API, you are exposing some functionality that was defined in either an XBasic class or a Node API. So let's start out and create a really simple uh, REST server. So first thing first thing we'll do is we'll go to this XBasic section here in the web control panel and we'll create a new class where we'll define the method that we want to expose through this REST API. So we'll go here and we'll say new and then we'll choose create a new XBasic class and just to avoid having to type it in again I'm going to just copy the class definition from the clipboard here and then uh, paste it in. So the go ahead there and paste. So you can see here we're creating a XBasic class called REST uh, My REST API. So this is the namespace and this is the actual name of the class. And you can see that this class uh, defines a single method called getData. It's a very simple method. It doesn't take any input parameters over here and it just returns some data. So we'll go ahead now and we'll save this class. You can see that Alpha suggests the name of the file based on the class name over there. So we'll go ahead and hit save. And then we can test this class in the interactive window by just going over to the interactive window and saying, uh, say, dim p as p, p, sorry, uh, that was wrong. So uh, delete p, dim p as, and then we're going to dim it as our class and then p dot get data. Let's just put a question mark in front of it and we can see that our class returns that data. So this is a very simple XBasic class and we'd li now like to expose this method um, get data through a REST API. So we'll go back to the web control panel and now we'll go to the web services section and we'll click on the uh, new button over here and we'll choose um, create a REST service and now we'll choose the name of the XBasic class that contains the method that we'd like to expose. So we'll go there and choose this uh, My REST API uh, class. And these are all of the methods in that class. So in this case, that was this class was very simple. It only had a single method, but the class could have uh, many, many different methods uh, uh, in its uh, definition. And here we choose which of those methods we would like to expose in our REST API. So at this point, the little red icon over here indicates that this method has not yet been exposed. So let's go ahead now and click on Edit Meth Method Properties. We'll say we would like to export it. So uh, once we've uh, specified that we would like to expose this method in our service, the next thing we need to choose is the REST verb that we would like to use. So in this case, we're just going to be using a GET because uh, we're just doing a query here. We're not actually going to be doing any updating uh, of information, uh, which typically would use a POST verb. So we'll just use a GET. This method doesn't have any arguments, so there's nothing really else that we need to do here. We don't need to specify how the arguments are going to be supplied uh, to the method. So we'll just go ahead now and uh, click OK. And you can see now the little uh, red icon has changed to green, indicating that this method is now going to be exposed. And also this little icon here indicates that this is not an authenticated method. So now we'll go ahead now and hit the Save uh, button. And I'll just call this uh, My REST Service 1. Go ahead now and hit Save. And basically now that we've um, actually saved the method, we can test it. So let's go ahead now and uh, test it. Uh, you do a live test of the API. So we'll go ahead now and that's going to basically open up uh, our browser. Uh, our server is running and uh, the browser is going to be uh, opened up and here we can see our endpoint. We can click on the um, this method to test it and uh, let me just uh, resize this window. So you can see that in this uh, tester here, there's a button called Try It Out. So we'll go ahead there and then I'll click the Execute button. And you can see that our REST uh, uh, service has been called. There's the response that we got. This is the uh, curl command in order to uh, call this endpoint. You can see uh, the endpoint uh, has uh, a web address um, over here, which 
So we're continuing now with um, our um, demonstration of creating a simple REST API in Alpha Anywhere and we've just tested our API uh, in the browser. So uh, over here we've sh we're actually showing the curl command that would be necessary in order to uh, make this uh, REST call. This is the response we got from, from the uh, REST call. Now if we go back to Alpha we can go over here and we can actually see the Swagger definition of this um, API that we've just defined. So uh, Swagger is a uh, an open source standard for describing REST APIs. So this is how we've described this API that we've just defined using uh, Swagger. We can also um, get documentation for this API. Now this is obviously is a very simple um, um, API, but you can see here we've generated the documentation automatically uh, for the API. Um, and you can also uh, import different uh, API definitions from Swagger. So what we've shown in this video is how to take a very simple uh, method defined in an XBasic class and expose that method through a REST API. Thanks very much for watching.